I mean, I, I looked at it when I got out of rehab and where I am today is I, I, I was back at kindergarten. You know, that's how I look at it. I look at it like that. I look at it as of having to start life again. You know, because I... I've had to learn to communicate, to talk to the guy at the dairy without being on, to talk to anyone without being on. I just need to learn to deal with situations because I'm not used to it. Like, you know, the bank rang up last week and, oh, the loan hasn't gone through and I'm like, fuck, and I get real stressed out and I just can't handle quick things like that. So I'm just learning to deal with all that sort of stuff again and can't throw my toys out of the cot every time something bad happens and it happens to everyone, you know. I don't need medication to try and make my brain any different. I was looking at this chart and we did a map of our offending and I was looking at it and pretty much my chart could tell me what lives I'd ruined and at what point in my time I'd ruined them and it was a, it was the slippery slope at the end of the day and by the time, you know, I'd got to the bottom, I was standing there. I wasn't throwing rocks, I was shooting a gun, you know. The people from the meetings, I'd only been going for like two weeks and they threw a massive 21st birthday for me and it was, you know, I'll never forget it, you know. It was my 21st and it was a sober 21st with like a hundred people there, it was really, it was really cool, you know, um, and, I, and that left a good feeling with me about those people. You know, I've had that experience now and, I mean, one in every so many people um, don't have to take that experience, but they're gonna, statistically going to live it. The statistics show that there's a certain amount of drug addicts per every hundred people in the world, and I was one of them. And um, I'm just going to have to, there's no way you can sit around and be sad about it. I just think about the good in it and just think, well, I've lived that experience. I know all about it now. I can tell my kids, I can tell my little brother, I can tell anyone. Um, if they were, had time to listen, if they wanted to, I can tell them all about reasons why not to do it. So I went into rehab and I got a big shock, man. It really it was, wow. Um, what did rehab do for me? First, it learned about what I was taking and what I've got inside me, what this disease is, how I'm dependent on chemicals, why I was um, taking them, you know, wasn't just because of the hit, how much I loved it, but it was actually filling the void and was running away from situations. I know it's something I know I'm never going to have fully, this successful career, but maybe I can make a difference and coming from, you know, where I've come from and putting that together with a psych paper and maybe understanding it a little bit better and then using it in, in a good way to help somebody else. Like become much more kind of self-aware and, and not only self-aware, like at doing things to, to keep myself on the right kind of path, on the best path, you know that I can um, yeah and I, I mean things are like never per perfect but things are, are good my way of looking at it was <clears throat> I had these sunglasses on and when I took them off everything became clear like I thought I was sweet because I slept every night and ate like a normal person there's nothing wrong with me you know, but I could see other people that were totally off their heads, and I thought, Fuck, why are you like that? I'm not like that. You know, but um, now I can just see exactly what I was like. And that's not good. My whole life has changed, and then I look back and see that that past, all of that past I've been through, and it, I'm stronger than that. You know, it hasn't, hasn't still got me. You know, it's like, see you, mate, on to the next thing.